Hello everybody, my name is Nightmare, welcome back to Undertale. So in the last part, we just arrived at here, at here, um, yeah, let's continue. This is a box. You can put an item or take an item out. I missed a word. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Oh no, it's Snow Drake. Uh, let's see, check. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Okay. Practicing, er, yeah, it's next pun. Uh, joke. Make a bad ice pun. That's supposed to be funny? It smells like a wet pillow. Uh, laugh. See? Dad was wrong. Eh. Please, no. Don't hurt me. Oh, I didn't get hurt. Pleased with his cool joke. Alright, see you later, buddy. Use the box. Yeah, let's see. There's a tough glove in there. Uh, we're going to put that away for later. Along with that. Because we don't want to accidentally eat those. Uh, Alright. Let's see what's going on up here. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that is attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. It's for the best. Uh oh. It's Ice Cap. Um. I'm going to ignore you, because that's what you're supposed to do. You managed to tear your eye away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? My hat is up here. Ice Cap is secretly checking to see if you're looking at his hat, and you have to ignore him twice. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Better a ha hatter than a hater. I think is what it said. Okay, Ice Cap is desperate for attention. And you send him on his way. Okay. The convenience of that lamp fills you with determination. Hooray. Alright, let's continue forward into this realm of ice and snow with our buddies Sans and Papyrus. I don't know if I want to do voices for them, because it's like everyone has their own voices, and it's like, I don't know if I, like, because it's like I don't play this all at once, so it's like I don't know if I want to, like, try to give them voices and then I forget what their voices are or something. So, as I was saying about Undyne, Sans. Oh my god, is that a human? No, it's a rock. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god. Is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will! I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular, popular, popular. Hmm. Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. See, that's why everyone gives him the, um... The Skeletor voice, because it's the... <laughs> so everyone wants to give him the Skeletor voice. And I don't know. I kinda, it kinda fits. Ugh. Another snow drink, eh? Yeah. There's some narration on this cardboard box. 
You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you pot? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Very well then, I will continue forward. Absolutely no moving. Let's continue. Dead on. It's doggo. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Pet. Too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Can do. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Pet. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet? Ah! Pat, 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 pot, 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 pat, pat. Doggo has been pet. Oh, I can, I can spare you now. Oh, thanks for the 30 gold, bud. S -s something pet me. S something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. And then if you go over and ring his bell, he comes up and it's just like, hmm, hello? Anyone there? No. And then he just goes back down. Let's see. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Hey, it's Sans again. Hello, Sans. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs, and it's written in yellow. Alright, Sans. Thanks, bud. Let's go see what this sign says. North ice, south ice, west ice, east, Snowden town. And ice. Denon! It's Lesser Dog! I love this, because it's like you get to see all the- just, it's nothing but pet. You barely lifted your hand and Lesser got, Dog got excited. Pant Pant. No, doggy. No, doggy. Okay, Lesser Dog is barking excitedly. See, I could spare him, but I'm going to keep petting him. You lightly touch the dog, it's already overexcited. Pant Pant. It's a snowman. Hello, snowman. I am snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you'd be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Yes, thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's continue onward. Well, here they are again. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Aho! The human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is exactly rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay. Try now. Oh, that actually... Okay. Incredible, you slippery snail. You've solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. This is designed by my brother Sands. You will surely be confounded. I know I am! <laughs> and he just slides away. 
Hey, buddy. What's going on? Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's really having fun. I added a really in there. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man. Isn't my brother cool? He is. You're not Papyrus, you're Sans. But he is cool. Let's go forward. Hey, it's this guy! What's up? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh ho! A customer! Hello! Would you like to buy some nice cream? Yes. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Yes. Let's go. I'll touch that puzzle in a moment. Hey, look, it's Sans. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? Just five gold. Did I say five gold? I meant 50. Uh, sure. Really? How about 5,000? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, sure. I don't have any snow. That's alright. Yep. His. Hers. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating, ew. Unsuspicious smell, puppy, blue rating, smell of rolling around, weird smell, humans, it's, it says green but it's written in red, uh, destroy at all costs, alright, so I think I have to do this puzzle, so let's hit this ball, just, yeah, nope, go down, nope, god, yeah. It's hard to do this puzzle with the, uh, controller I'm using. Cause it's my Xbox controller, but it's still just difficult. Oh, but I did it. What do you know? I was complaining for nothing. There's a camera hidden inside this lump of snow. Yep, looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow dohecahedron. And on that note, we're gonna have to leave it here. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like to let me know. And if not, that's all right, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye!